Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimates review. Today we have the Dragon Age Minimates Series 1 box set. So, this is fun. This is a box set based off of the Dragon Age video game series from Bioware. And I believe this set is based off of Dragon Age Inquisition. I played the first one. I wasn't a big fan of the gameplay. Um, and I also didn't like how your protagonist was very silent, and it didn't feel very interactive, but I did like Alistair and Morrigan, and they are right there. The set also has Liliana, who was a teammate in the first game, I believe, but I did not get very far in the first game, and I probably missed out on half of the teammates you could get. And we have Varric, who I believe is in the second one. Um, like I said, not too sure, but I am familiar with the top two characters, so that's good at least. Packaging-wise, it's pretty nice. It's kind of mimicking the box art from Inquisition, where you have the dragon indention in the back. Other than that, it's just a regular card. But it's very nice. Dragon Age characters, Bioware, DST. I like it. On the back, the same thing as before, just the same picture. And then you got Varric, Liliana, Morgan, and Alistair. Mix and match parts. No bio, actually. No character information, so <laughs> good luck on finding out who these are if you've never played any of the games. Anyway, let's begin. So before I officially begin the video, I just want to say this video is also being featured on minimatescentral.com and you can find that in the description if you want to watch the video there. And you can always leave a comment there and rate the actual figures themselves, which is a nifty feature that the website has going on. So anyway, with that out of the way, let's begin. First up we have Alistair. So here we have Alistair from Dragon Age. Now, Alistair appeared as a companion in the original Dragon Age, which is the one I played, and I believe appears in Dragon Age Inquisition, because the Wikipedia article said so. Anyway, detail-wise, he's got this brown outfit on. And it's pretty nice. You can see there's some chest detailing of sort of armor, I guess. Not quite sure what it's supposed to be. There's a look at the arms. Arms again. There's a good look at the legs. He's got this nice skirt piece going on, which has a nice animal pelt lining it. There's a little belt. Very nice piece. You can see there's some detailing going down the side of his legs both sides. You can see there's also a fur pelt on his shoulders, which looks nice. Some strapping. And it's just a little slip-on piece, and it looks really nice. Something a bit weird to note is that my Alistair, his left hand is disfigured. So, that's a little weird. I usually don't get disfigured hands like that, but just wanted to point that out, and then we get a good look at the face. He's got a goatee, thick eyebrows, sort of a generic expression going on. I believe the hairpiece is new. I haven't seen it before, so... And it's not too bad. It has a little point at the tip. So, articulation-wise, Alistair can basically do everything. His legs are a little prohibited because of the skirt piece. His arms can do everything, though. And accessory-wise, display stand, as well as a sword. Don't remember if the sword had a name, but it's not a bad piece. It's fairly simple. Gold hilt, silver handle, blade silver. It looks nice. Overall, Alistair is a simple but nice figure. Next up, we have Morrigan. So here we have Morrigan, the witch. 
Now, what's nice about Morrigan is that her design stayed relatively the same between Dragon Age 1 and Inquisition, which is good. So, Morgan's probably my favorite figure of the set. I feel like she has the most dynamic design. And the figure is really good. So, she's got, first off, this big skirt piece. A lot of detailing. Some flaps. Then she has some leg detailing underneath. It's a good look at that. Just some generic strapping. Like, everybody has straps in fantasy settings. It's just all straps. And then, moving on, she's got this sort of wrapping around her torso with her jewelry. You can see her belly button and then some strapping on the back of her torso. And she's supposed to have some chest detailing underneath this, but if you want to get the piece off, you're going to have to, like, put it in hot water so it's more malleable, and I just can't get it off. But you can also see she has one bare arm with an armband and then a nice little wrist piece. You can see some detailing on it. And then on the other arm, it's actually molded. She has this nice little leaf charm sort of thing going on. Then one sleeve. And another wristband. Then we get to the face. So she's got some heavy makeup on. Her hair is a very nice piece. There's what it is without. She also has her hair tied up, which is a nice touch. And just overall, a very nice design. Articulation-wise, Morgan can do... Uh, she can do some stuff. Her arms have complete rotation, but her head can't really move much other than swivel. And her legs are basically useless. And accessory-wise, as part of the course, display stand, as well as a staff for her to hold. And it looks nice. I mean, it's just a stick. <laughs> Overall, Morrigan is a unique figure with a memorable design. Next up we have Leliana. So here we have Leliana, one of the characters in Dragon Age. Now, she originally appeared in the first Dragon Age, but I didn't know that, because I didn't get very far in that game. So all I remember is the dog, Alistair, Morgan, and actually that's about it. I did not get very far, and I think Liliana was an optional party member. So to get her, you had to do like a side mission. So I probably missed that. But apparently she has a major role in Inquisition, and... This is what she looks like in Inquisition. And it's a decent figure. I mean, it's alright. If anything, a lot of these Dragon Age figures will fit great with the Pathfinder stuff. If people are into that more than the game, Dragon Age. So, I'll probably end up shoving most of these with my Pathfinder stuff. Because my video game Minimate shelf is pretty stuffed. Anyway, so the first thing you'll notice is her hood, which looks really cool. You can see little tufts of hair sticking out, and then it's hooked on her shoulder. And then we have her just general outfit. A lot of chainmail. She's got a skirt piece like the others, which cuts down the middle. A lot of brown on this costume. There's just a lot of brown in this set, I've noticed. Some more strapping silver. They're supposed to be boots. They look nice. More chainmail on the back, as well as her torso. You can also see she's got a little pendant design. Which I'm sure alludes to something in the franchise. 
I just need to play the games to find out. And then she's got arm detailing, which actually looks really nice. You can see a buckle, and then a lot of straps, and then gloves. They're the generic glove mold, but they actually have printing on them, which looks really nice. Sort of gold bands, and they actually loop around. And then the same detailing on the other arm. And then we get to the face. And it's just a generic expression. I mean, no emotion, nothing. Really, Liliana is just kind of a plain design of a figure. I mean, that's not a bad thing. She's just really basic looking. So articulation-wise, Liliana can do eh, a bit more. Her skirt piece is a lot more, like, fluid, so it moves a bit more. So she has wider range of movement. And her head can sort of move, but not a lot. And accessory-wise, the usual stand, as well as a bow. And a single arrow. So you just pop the arrow and the bow, and the bow is a nice sculpt. I mean, it's nothing special. It's mostly a tan color with some silver wraparound. And the arrow is the same color. And with most bow and arrow sets in Minimates, you can't really do a lot, because it's kind of hard to get them to draw the bow, or the arrow in the bow, so it kind of just ends up looking off. So, there we go. That's not too bad. Overall, while Liliana looks nice, her design overall is fairly bland. Last up, we have Varric. So here we have Varric, the dwarf. Varric originally appeared in Dragon Age 2, which I did not play at all. And I believe he also appears in Inquisition, which is where this design comes from. And the nice thing about Varric is that since he's a dwarf, he's actually smaller than other minimates. So here he is compared to Morrigan. Now, obviously, he's not one-to-one -one shorter. I mean, now one of the big problems with minimates is that it's sort of hard to tell if they're shorter or not. But what I like about Varric's design overall is that there's a lot of cues to tell you that he's short. Like, for example, if you look at Morgan and then at him, you can see his outfit is designed that the place where it will cut for his legs is actually small, lower than Morgan's, as well as where his neck would be from the torso piece. And so, that's nice, as well as the commonly used now, short arm and legs. So anyway, it's really nice because he actually looks a tad shorter. And he's got probably my second favorite design. Just a lot of armor and spikes. A lot of spikes, actually. You can see he's got a sort of trench coat thing going on with the buckle being undone. You can see some plating, sort of an ascot going on. It's more of a scarf, but you know what I mean. A lot of armor plating going down his shoulder to his arms. Even a little elbow band. Then it is the shorter person arm, so this hand is part of the mold. Same thing on the other arm. The legs are also nice. You can see some of the pant detailing, the tattered look, as well as the armor on his boots. He's got a sort of wing design, so swooshes out on both sides. Then he's got little feet, but there's still some detailing going down the sides. And it looks really nice. On the back, you actually have a lot of nice stuff going on. So you've got a knife, as well as this little container, probably for bullets for his crossbow, and some pouches overall, which looks really cool. It's not the cleanest detailing, but it gets the job done. And then we look at the face, and you've got a lot of stubble, thick eyebrows, just another generic look. Hairpiece is new, though. 
You can see he's got sort of a ponytail going on. And it's a new piece. Not bad at all. Now, articulation-wise, since Varric is a dwarf, his articulation is prohibited. So, nothing to do with the hands. Actually, his hand will pop off really easily. So, watch out for that. And then his legs can only really move at the knee. So, but his head has some movement, not a lot. And accessory-wise, we have display stand as well as his crossbow, which I have learned is named Bianca. So, apparently he names his guns. Even though it's a crossbow, it's not really a gun, you know what I mean. And it's a nice piece. Though, if you put him on the figure, I mean, it looks really awkward, because you either have to do it sort of strangely, where he's holding it out to the side, Kind of like this, or this. This is probably the best you'll have at him trying to use the crossbow. So probably just like an idle holding pose is probably the best. Overall, Varric has a dynamic design that makes him one of my favorite figures from the set. So overall, that was the Dragon Age Minimate Series 1 box set. And this was a fun set. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Dragon Age. I've only ever played Origins. And I mean, I'm not a fan of the gameplay style. It's too MMO-ish for me. Um, and so, I just never really gave it a shot. I probably should go back and play them. Anyway, the figures though, they're really nice. Morrigan and Varric have to be my favorite figures of the set because they have the most dynamic designs. I mean, Alistair's cool and all, since I like the fur coating, and Liliana's all right. Those two just have very bland brown designs, while Morgan has a lot of stuff going on with her, and Varric has a lot of armor on him, which helps their designs. I'm sure if you're a fan of the characters, though, you won't care what they look like because it's the characters, so you're excited to have them. But that's just my personal, critical opinion. I like the box set. If you're not a fan of Dragon Age, these figures will definitely go well with the Pathfinder Minimate stuff that has been coming out. But that's just what I think. Remember to check out MinimateCentral.com for more Minimate reviews. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. Check me out on social media. And did you like the video? Well, then rate, comment, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you later.